Hey guys, today we're going to check the Russian alphabet from the first until the last letter. We will not have the random words vocabulary that you usually see in the websites and Russian teaching sites. We will have a smart vocabulary. So if you're starting Russian classes today or if you want to learn Russian from zero, this video is for you. Because today we're starting from the first letter until the last letter with smart examples or smart vocabulary that you will be able to use in everyday conversations from today. So let's start. A like car. And the example is автобус. Автобус. A автобус. B like but. And we say багаж. Багаж, which is luggage. Багаж. Letter V, like voice, and we have the word выход. Выход is exit. You're going to see it everywhere in Russia or any Russian-speaking country. You will see the exit word everywhere. You will see that it says выход. Выход. Letter G, like get. Get. Говорить. Говорить is to speak. It's a very useful word, you know it, and we say I speak Russian or I speak English. Я говорю по-русски. Я говорю. And the verb to speak is говорить. Говорить. Де, like day. And we say дом. Дом is house in Russian. Дом. And also we have the word yes, which is да. Да. Дом, house, да. Yes, yeah, and we say like yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, that's, that's the sound yet, like yet. And we say yida, yida, which is food. Yo, it's like your, like your, yosh, which is a porcupine. I'm sorry for my pronunciation, it's not correct. Je, like treasure, je, like treasure, and we have the word jena. Жена, it's wife. Жена. З, like zone. З, like zone. And we have здравствуйте, which is a formal way to say hi in Russian. Здравствуйте. People that we don't know, that we're just meeting, we say здравствуйте. И, like meet. Извините. It's I'm sorry, I beg your pardon. It's when you say, you say it all over the time. Well, uh, Russians are not that polite. Usually you can hear it everywhere in the streets and when you're in Russia, you will hear it. И краткая. Yogurt. Yogurt. Ka. Like Kate. Когда. It's when. It's a very useful word. Когда. When. L. Like look. Lasos. It's salmon. When you want to order a salmon in the restaurant, you say lasos. M. M. Like May. And we have the word magazine. Magazine, it's a, it's a false cognate with English. It's not magazine. It's not what we know as magazine. It's not magazine, it's the store. It's actually the store where you go to buy things like supermarket or, or a little store of products, etc. So don't get confused with two words. This is a false cognate, Russian false cognate. And like not. And like not. We say налево. These words are pretty useful. You use it all over the time and when you ask for an address, how to get somewhere, you say налево, which is the left side, и направо, to the right side. О, it's like the English O, cold, like the word cold. We say откуда вы, where are you from, откуда вы. We also can use it when, where were you coming from, are you coming from the store, are you coming from the theater, etc. Or where are you from, actually, are you from the United States, are you from Turkey. П, привет. П привет. That's the greeting, the most uh, common greeting word in Russia, which is hi. It's not formal and you can say it all the time. Привет. Р работа. Р like rock. Работа, which is work. Т like tie. Т like tie. And the word is таблетка. Таблетка, which is pill. It's a pretty useful word. Because maybe sometimes you have a headache or something at the hotel, maybe somebody is not understanding you, you can say tabletka and they will understand you. Oh, like moon. Увидимся. Увидимся is see you soon. It's a common word that we use 
on a daily basis, we say увидимся, see you soon. F like food, and we have the word fin. Fin is a hair dryer. H like hay, H like hay. Хлеб, хлеб is bread. Хлеб, Ц, Ц like the ending of the word boots. Tsar, we use the Russian tsar. In, in English we say czar, the czar, but in Russian we say tsar with the letter tse. Ch, like chair, and uh, the word that I have here is sto. It doesn't sound like a chair, ch, ch, chair word, but it's pretty useful because we use it every day when we say what. Sto, what, sto. So it's quite important to know it. Sha, like shine. Like shine your boots, sha shine, and we have the word sharf, sharf, which is scarf in Russian, and we have the letter sha. It's like English charter between the two words sha, shinok, which is a puppy. We have the strong sign in Russian tvrdy znak, u, like u, like kick, u, like kick. We have the soft sign. Or in Russian, мягкий знак, э, э, like bet. And we have the word это, which is this. We use it all the time. Это, это, дом, it is a house. Это, я, this is me. You, like youth. You, like youth. And we have the example, yuk. Yuk is the south. And the last but not least, the letter я, which is pronounced like yard. Okay guys, congratulations, we've seen the whole Russian alphabet from the start until the end. And we learn a very special thing, which is smart vocabulary. If you if you never studied Russian, if you just started today, you're already able to speak, to have some basic phrases that you can start using from today. So this is amazing. And if you're going to Russia 2018, to the games, to the FIFA, that would be super cool because you're going to check all the signs in the streets, the stores, the supermarkets, in the stadium signs. It will be much easier for you to familiarize with all the strange words that you see over there and not be so overwhelmed with all this information. If you like this video, please subscribe and comment. I really want to hear your opinion and see you in the next video next Thursday.